What do famous people like Henry VIII, Benjamin Franklin, and Thomas Jefferson have in common? It's gout. We asked Dr. Andrew Alexander of Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs the causes, symptoms, and treatments for this painful condition. Gout's a disorder of purines. Purines are a chemical, everybody has them. If you have a cell, you have purine. So every animal, every plant has purines because they derive or are made into DNA. So forget being away from those, you're gonna have purines. When they break down in the body, they form uric acid. When uric acid forms crystals because it's an excess concentration, you can have the possibility of getting gout. Everybody's got uric acid, but if you get too much, you can be in trouble. So for instance, uh, there's people that say that anything above 6.4 to 7 can cause crystallization of uric acid with the potential that it gets into your joints and tissues. If that happens, it could be exquisitely tender. Now, I don't usually have to tell people they have gout. They often will come to me and say, I have gout. The famous gout is the big toe. It just becomes so tender, and so inflamed, people basically don't even want to have the sheet on it. Gout usually sneaks up at night, so they're okay the day before, and they start thinking, gee, what did I do? Did I hit it? Did I twist it? But if Uncle Harry has gout, they come in, they say, you know what? I think I have gout. And if it's in the large toe, they're probably right. Less than half of cases will present someplace else, which case could be the ankle, the knee, the elbow, the foot. That's more difficult. Dr. Alexander explains the causes of gout. What causes gout? Uh, we said it's the crystals within the joint. The crystals come from the breakdown of purines. So, very simply, you can overproduce uric acid, and there's conditions that do that, some are genetic, or you can not get rid of it good enough. And the majority of people don't get rid of it good enough, sort of so-called under excretors, doesn't come through the urine as well as they'd like. The facts are it builds up in the tissues. The other thing is we use medicines for blood pressure, the water pills, up goes uric acid. And there are other pills we use, some of the secondary medicines for uh, Parkinson's disease or for t treatment of TB can also raise up uric acid. Another cause of gout, dehydration. So if you're dehydrated, you're more likely to get gout. So drink lots of water. And then the other thing that we just hate to see with gout is that malignancies or anything that causes a lot of cell turnover. By that I mean psoriasis, a lot of tumors. Some of the chemotherapy medicines we use can really cause destruction of tissues. So therein is gout. Now there's things you can do to make it worse. Some of the worst things you can eat would be organ meats, liver, stomachs, kidneys. Beer has yeast. Yeast is one of the really high uh, foods with purines. And then there's the fish type products. Not all fish, but sardines, mackerel, scallops, uh, anchovies. Those are really high in purines. So you want to avoid those too. Other things you might want to stay away from would be meats in general because they have more purines. And there's a couple, couple vegetables that, are, believe it or not, have a little more purines, although the jury's still out on whether you ought to avoid spinach, asparagus, uh, but certainly most vegetables are fine, as are dairy products. And the other things associated with gout, in almost half of the cases, is obesity. People who are overweight have more purines. Dr. Alexander tells us about the treatments for gout. We treat it with medications principally. Certainly, reduction of what you're doing that's wrong. Stop eating those meats, stop eating those purines immediately, drink lots of fluid. Additionally, we use the so-called NSAIDs, or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Uh, Motrin, naproxen, indomethacin, a drug we used to use a lot of called colchicine, which is now terribly expensive, but that's a pill. Uh, in addition, long-term, later on, we can use other medications, but we also might even use cortisones in that first day just to get the pain down. 